What's up guys? Today is Thursday. Y'all know what day it is. It's time for the big red and yellow truck to get here with Mac Daddy Michael driving. So let's see what he's got. Come on. Yes, it is. I'm ready for one more day to get by. Well, today, Thursday means Friday for me. Uh oh, you're taking off tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Uh, pretty much all my shops tomorrow are running split crews or closed, so. What? I said, That's well, good. I guess that means I'll get a longer weekend out of it. Take a day off. That's a good thing. Because I don't hardly do that, so. Well, y'all can go fishing or go to the lake or something. I'm going to go down and see my dog at the trainer in the morning and come back and try to get some stuff done around the house. There you go. Y'all going to the lake this weekend? No. I don't know what we're going to do. A holiday here. weekend is the last. The lake is the last place I'd like to be on a holiday weekend. <laughs> Too many drunk idiots. Yeah. Well, that's why you just got to get in there with them. Mm. You can be the guy they're like, oh. <laughs> that's how you handle that situation. That's the way you do that. What all you got sitting up here? Torch bits? Well, I'm sorry. Matt don't want to pay torch there their royalties or whatever so it's star bits these are actually pretty neat well since rbrt come out has it hurt y'all's mac regular mac big torch and stuff sales honestly i don't really reorder them i just some folks will still ask for it and if i don't have it i'll get it but the rbrt is so good mm -hmm. well, i stocked the old stuff yeah. So. They have to come down in price a bunch to, uh, oh, those are cool. Yeah, they are. Universals. Uh, universal torques. Which is, this is an odd set. These are actually five point. Uh -huh. um, some of your old tractors and stuff like that are five point. But That's a neat set right there, though. It is. Um, it's not something that I get asked for often, but when you do, I try to keep at least one set on here. I like to keep a set of the five points and a set of the regular right. six points. I like it with the marbles made on them. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat little deal. Show sure is. What are you demoing wrenches? I ordered... Uh, those a while back for a guy and he ended up not getting them but i got them out yesterday i had to warranty a 16 for a fella does that happen a lot people ask you to order stuff and then... not often um it, it's really not um what happened was i'd ordered those at the same time they came in about the same time the big metric wrench bundle come in. Oh yeah, I don't blame you. And him. you know, he said, deal. "Well, for you know, I, for the same money, I can get so many more wrenches." Like, well, man, it's like I don't blame you. Yep. You know, that's true. But that is the true Mac knuckle savers. That's a six point set, but. Man, them some expensive jokers right there, ain't they? They pretty, though. I don't know. I don't see the difference in it myself. <laughs> I'd rather have them precision torques for the money. I tell you, people absolutely love those precision torque wrenches. The angles of the heads mm -hmm. and the way they bite. I'd rather have that precision torque wrench as I had the... Uh, 
the knuckle savers, especially for the difference of money. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of difference. It is a big difference. Oh, well, to each their own. Those are still some neat deals there, the sidewinders. Oh, yeah. Yep. No. How I, often you would need a quarter drive sidewinder, I don't know, but. I tried the uh, off brand, the Tight Reach, when they first come out. And they claimed they was impact grade, built for heavy duty impact use. And, uh,. I don't know. The ones I tested had sprockets and a chain in it, and they just didn't. They didn't hold up. Didn't cut the mustard. It come apart on video and all that. Like, they're definitely made for static torque with a ratchet or a breaker bar, not an impact. Yeah. They just they're not designed for that, and that's what that company was trying to claim. There's a lot of people got bent out of shape when I released that video, but the whole purpose was to show they will not work with an impact. Like, don't buy these tools thinking you're going to be able to shove your impact in a tight spot and it worked. Like, mm -hmm. it, it just, it's feasibly impossible. Because I think we torqued a bolt at like 100 foot pounds and the half inch Milwaukee couldn't break it loose because of the torque loss. So Those are actually impact grade. Oh, We've Lord. had pretty good reviews. Here we go. <laughs> I've honestly never had one come back to me broke. If they've got a chain and sprockets in them, it eats all the impact in it. That just it it don't work. Now, how much way. torque loss is there? I don't know. Well, but. I mean, when you got to put a one inch gun on to break a ten millimeter <laughs> bolt loose, it's kind of pointless, I think. But hey, whatever guys want to do, I'm, yeah, I'm good with that. So, but the one I tried was the tight reach, and they didn't like. With a ratchet, perfect. To go go get it, son. Get it all day long. But it ain't gonna work with impact. Yeah. Not those anyway. I proved that. It was terrible. <laughs> so anyway, I still wouldn't put money on the Mac ones with the impact on it. Just saying, from my from my seeing them with the other ones, it's just too much torque loss. Now if they had gears running you know, like a gear against a gear against a gear against a gear against a gear, it might work. Yeah. But I think you're going to have so much torque loss. Like, you need to sell a, they, they need to do a, buy one of them, get a one inch impact with it. <laughs> Use an impact. <laughs> like, I got to mm. get a 2,500 pound impact to uh, break a 15 pound bolt loose. But. That's just my looking yeah. at it. Well, did we get the half inch DeWalt in yet? Not yet. What is the, what are they waiting on? I'm just waiting on it to show up. Man. Just waiting on it to show up. They need to come on with it. Well, what other 12 volt stuff you got for it? Um, Anything new? Just trying to see. I got the 12 volt drill kit. Um, it's a good buy. And then, I wanna say that's the only other piece I got right now that goes with the 12 volt line. So you got the 3 8 and the bit, the quarter. The only other piece would be a bit the, driver. Uh, the bit driver goes on sale with something else one day and snack, snatch it. Yeah. Because they, the they do deals on the 12 mm -hmm. volt stuff a lot. Yeah. Man, I love that little DeWalt impact though. It's nice. Like, I'm very pleased with it. It'll get the job done. The weight of it and stuff. I hadn't used a quarter, which I knew when I bought it, I wouldn't use a quarter much, but I do like that little DeWalt. It's, it's a very good buy for the money. Well, did you get anything else new in this week? I yeah, uh, I know we've talked about our die grinder some, but let me find it. I got some of these in the other day. Box looks like crap, but. Oh yeah, that's a torque loss right there. And this isn't something a fella needs every day, 
but when he needs to get into a tight spot, extended oh, anvil yeah. die grinder. Absolutely. It, uh, Trying to see what 90 psi, 28,000 RPM. So well, get it one. She'll she'll get down. Whether you need to get in a tight hole and cut mm -hmm. something off or reach up in there and cut a bolt off, it's yeah boogered up. Because a lot, you know, you see a lot of times the angle ones that mm -hmm. you know everybody has, but um, that's a, Something I've been getting asked for pretty regular, so I start keeping some of those on the truck. I bet body guys use them a whole lot. More of the angle ones for cutoff, you know, yeah. getting in a fender that's boogered up or, you know, rebuild like that. But um, it's a pretty handy deal when you need one. I got to get it put get up here on my shelf. I might be fussing at me if I don't get it. There you go. So people still fussing about Mac's website. They say it's better than it was, but it's still terrible. <laughs> Man, I, I can't help you it, with that. Me and Michael don't don't build websites, so. No, we don't. Uh, That's all. Look, on I'm my. not saying I could do a better job at it, but it's definitely not what it should be. I said their main thing is it's hard to search for the tools, you know, to find the tools when they want to buy them since they don't have a Mac dealer. It, uh, like the part numbers, I guess, ain't even pulling up on some of them. I don't know. Some new stuff, the part numbers aren't in the system, uh, I've noticed. Uh, from time to time, if I don't have a catalog handy, you know, whether I'm at the house trying to order at night or something like that, right. and, you know, I'll try to hop on there and find something to get a part number so I can get it ordered and you know sometimes it's there sometimes it's not so they're working with it just be patient they are steadily focusing on trying to update it. I'm sure it takes a long time because I mean you just think how many product numbers you got here. Oh man. Like on the ceiling. <laughs> you can imagine how long it would take to update and, and redo a website. I, I kind of get that if they do. And they're trying to pull out some of the discontinued numbers and Put the new stuff in because we just released a new catalog at Tool Fair uh, last month. So they're trying to get all that new stuff mm -hmm. entered in too. So it, uh, they're I mean, working on it. Even if they got a couple of guys doing say 200 SKU numbers a day or more, it's going to take a long time to go through that. Absolutely. It would take a long time to write every one of them down that's on this truck, much less everything that yep. Matt's got. So I understand that. It sucks on this side, but hey, it takes time. So, but they are, they are focusing on growing our website and improving the quality of our website. So, well, just be patient. It's all you can ask for. Well, I guess we're gonna get back in here and get to work and get something done today, productive. And uh, you guys have a great week tomorrow's friday so hold your head up just one more day boys one more day all right guys like always hit that thumbs up if you like the video check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes if you're not subscribed click that button you guys have a great week and we will catch you later see ya